Hello Libras and welcome to your general reading for the month of October 2020. If you are a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this reading is for you. If you're on the cusp of a Virgo or a uh, Scorp, would I say Sagittarius? Wait, Virgo or Scorpio, sorry. You may want to watch their videos as well, okay? Um, as always, these are very general. They're not going to resonate with all of you. If you would like your own personal reading, my links are down below. This is a grab bag reading. Whatever I see is whatever I get. So anything I tell you can apply to work, love, anything, okay? So let's begin. So um, I had already pre-shuffled. All right. Libra, I see a new beginning. This is a lot different than your um, love reading. <laughs> it's, it's more positive. <laughs> okay, so yeah, a new beginning. Um, I see luck on your side, especially around the beginning of the month. Um, you are really open to try new things. I also see having a very playful approach to situations now. <laughs> I see something about letting a child get away with something not sure maybe it's like it's more like you know how for example like shh don't tell mom i let you do that you know um not a big deal i know that's pretty general with parenting sometimes uh not always the dad sometimes it's the moms like hey don't tell dad that mommy just bought uh two spent two hundred dollars at target you know just saying <laughs> it's showing up in your cards okay um I see also putting off some resp like other responsibilities in the home and getting away with it as well. So if it wasn't about a child or watching a child, it's and nothing bad. It, it's more like just it's like it's like more humorous stuff, you know, um, like, you know what? Do you guys ever watch that movie Office Space where he's like, you know what? I just don't want to go to work today. No, no. It's kind of like that. Like, you know what? I don't feel like doing this day. And you, you kind of get away with it. You know, whatever. Sometimes we need a break, right? Okay. Um, either a family, there's a lot of, of what surrounds you, a lot of energy with family member visits um, or family, visiting family, or even for some, uh, someone moves in or a new member is welcomed into the family. Okay. Um, this could be like, for example, um, someone has a baby or someone tells you they're pregnant, like someone in the family, um, or someone in the family adopts a child. Uh, maybe someone met someone and they're uh, engaged, like, hey, this is my new boyfriend or girlfriend, etc. Okay, nothing bad there either. Um, you know, I do pick up this, and it's very strange because in your love reading, I saw the opposite. I saw problems or a possible issue with an absent parent, but in this reading, I guess for those of you that the love reading did not resonate with, there's a opening up to a child, um, get it becoming closer to a child. So maybe if you lost touch with a child um, or some of you adult children who are looking for biological parents, for example, I do see more positivity with that if you are going through that. There is a settling problems in the family overall, okay? Very good around family. Um, there's also getting a key to a home. And especially, I always say that when I get the key next to the house, sometimes that is getting a key to a house, which means uh, like buying a house, uh, selling a home goes well, giving the keys to a tenant, if you're a landlord, for example. Um, it's also a yes answer about a home or about property or something about the family. Because the house card isn't always about property or a sale of a house or real estate. It could be family or just, um, being more open to being res like not well it's like you go through like getting away with some responsibilities and then it's like being open to making new routines i guess um or maybe it's okay sometimes the key is relief from problems or um so it's almost like um we don't have to do things this way anymore um we're gonna start doing this instead there's there's less rules and restrictions um Maybe for some, you're in a city or state that they're lifting the COVID restrictions, I guess. Like they're not, there's no more, sh there's not as many shutdowns. I know things are, places are opening up anyway, but maybe that's what's going on too. It could have something to do with that. Okay. So that's good. Um, you know, there's also, okay, I'm hearing, <laughs> I was going to say something else, but what I see in the cards is some of you find out a family secret, but right before I was about to say that, Spirit's telling me you want to bake something. 
And I know that sounds stupid because everybody, most, a lot of people cook, right? But why am I hearing you need to bake something? I don't know if that's, you know what, go ahead and make that dinner or go ahead and make that dinner. Or I don't know what it is. I mean, I, I know what baking is, but I don't know if it's a symbol for something else, like make something out of this or go, go ahead and make that dinner. I don't know. Maybe some of you that are watching at this moment, you are thinking about what to make for dinner. I don't know. <laughs> that was funny. So yeah, you might find out some kind of family secret. I don't see anything bad about it though. Or maybe discover something about the family that you didn't know before, even if it wasn't like a secret, just something you didn't know. Okay. Um, Okay, I'm hearing this too. I hear finding a lost object. So first I heard baking, you need to bake this or, and then I find, I mean, and then I hear you're gonna, you're gonna find a lost object. I don't know why, but I'm seeing a purse too. Like I'm visualizing a purse, right? When spirit tells me you will find, or you'll be finding a lost object. I don't know if it's in the purse, either something about a purse, maybe you lost your purse, um, or maybe you're buying a purse. <laughs> Or maybe what's in the purse is significant in general. If it, ha it may not have anything to do with a lost object. I just, I see a purse though. Okay. Um, I wonder what, it, what that means symbolically, like carrying around something. Maybe, maybe some of you are carrying around uh, baggage, right? Maybe, I mean, we all, we all have, a lot of us have stuff we carry in our pockets, but I'm talking about baggage. Maybe there's some kind of baggage you need to, I'm just guessing that I'm not saying I see that psychically, but the purse is came strong to me. Uh, you know, okay, let's see what else I see here. Um, I, oh God, I, I'm getting the letter A. I don't know why, maybe that, whatever that means to you. I don't know if there's significance with the letter A with someone's name that you're wondering about or like the scarlet letter. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just see the letter A. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Just take out whatever that resonates. Um, I do see success in business or things happening better with money um, in general, okay? Especially for those that own their own business or they work from home, okay? But if you don't work from home or you don't work, uh, you don't own your own business, I still see things improving financially for you anyway, okay? It just might be more um, accurate for those of you that do work at home or have your own business, okay? Uh, you know, I see a lot of, Pub, uh, I can't say that word, Pub, publicity that surrounds you um, or becoming more known. Okay. So maybe, you know, you may not be famous, but maybe you're becoming well known on social media um, or you're just becoming more popular at your college or wh where you work. People are, there, there's a lot of people wanting to know more about you. Um, it's like becoming well known just stands out. Okay. Or a very good networking shows up here also in the cards. Um, there is, okay. So there, so there is investing into a good sum of money and it looks like a positive return of investments as well. Um, so I, I feel like, of course, check with your financial advisor. Don't always go by us readers, but, and based on my cards, it says that if you are wanting to invest in this, you should do it. Okay. That's what the cards are saying. <laughs> You have a lot of excitement around you um, and you're just being a lot of, you're just being very busy this month. It's like you really go with the flow, but you're also taking charge. It's kind of like, how do I put this? Like you're not forcing too much, but, but you're kind of going with the flow. You're like, whatever happens, happens. I'm just, it's like being in a good mood. I know this is totally opposite than your love reading. But um, so if you're having problems in your love life, like my love reading was kind of showing, then this, everything else seems to fall into place for you though. Um, but it's like you take action, but you're not forcing it, right? It, it goes very smoothly for you. Overall, this, this is a pretty good reading. Not seeing any problems here. M maybe you're just gonna have, maybe the only thing is just deciding what to bake. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being silly bake some magic brownies or something. I guess. I don't know. Um, I do see an issue about announcing something though, or maybe telling a secret. I'm not, I, this is separate than the family secret. Maybe it's not, I don't know. I didn't really see anything bad with that though. I don't see this, uh, or maybe someone does this to you, but you have, you have a way to make it seem as if what was said isn't true. It's almost like this month you're very convincing, even if you don't mean to be a liar. You know, I don't, I, I, if that makes sense to you, <laughs> you're just very convincing. So maybe someone doesn't blab a secret, but if there is, 
something you encounter where he said, she said, and you're like, no, that's not really what happened. Whoever you tell that to and explain it, whether it was really true or not, they're gonna believe you anyway, that's what I get. Um, I see dancing, I pick up, not in the cards, I'm seeing dancing. I don't know if there's a wedding coming up or you go out to a club, I'm not sure how many clubs are open. There, there's just a lot of happiness in dancing. Maybe you're dancing in your living room, maybe you're making TikTok videos, just like a lot of you know people do. Um, you know, I, I don't know, there's like some kind of, I don't know if that is a symbol for just celebration, even if you're not going out dancing, there's some kind of happy celebration or moving your body with, with uh, just, I don't know, just happiness in general. This is a pretty easy going um, reading for the most part. I mean, you have the birds there, it's a little bit of stress, but being that you have mainly good cards, you really don't have any negative cards. The birds is not always about stress. It could be over excitement. So that's why I'm seeing you're just very busy and you're just very just, hey, whatever happens, happens, you know? Let it come, let it come. Um, one warning here. Towards the end of the month though, there is a little bit of, um, I do see you suddenly possibly second guessing any good thing that happens because maybe that's why the things are just kind of flowing pretty you know smoothly this month and then by the end of the month you're like you you, st you start all of a sudden questioning it like is it, it is something going to be taken you know you know the kind of people where when things go really good for them they start thinking it's going to be oh no it's too good to be true don't be one of those oh no is this too good to be true people no God, I hate that. Uh, there's so many people in this world. We are taught in society to always worry about everything and not trust that anything good happens. I mean, there is people out there that, that do, but it's it's very, I know, I know it's like, because we're, we're so used to hearing negativity on the news, the media, you know, people's problems, everything's bombarded in our faces with online, everything else. So it's, it's hard to keep a positive mindset, but for you, it's like you go through a lot of positive things this month and all of a sudden, you, maybe uh, you just suddenly freeze up and just start wondering, you just start having these wandering, wandering thoughts. So don't do that though. It's so, it's, it, cause it's like, it's like, it's, you know, like, oh no, is this gonna be taken away? Things have been happening really good. Is you know, like I said, don't don't even think about it. Just keep going with the flow. Because sometimes the birds and the sun together can represent worried thoughts, ruin the happiness. That's why I'm bringing that up. So just don't stress yourself, okay? Just enjoy it. However, maybe it's not that. It could be that you're just doing too much. You're, cause sometimes the birds is also a card of fluctuations. It's not like the mice card or the scythe or the tower. It's not like the negative, negative cards. It's just more like a stressful card or it's too much going on like but being that you have the fish and the um the garden and the sun surrounding the birds i would say that there's just a lot you're doing it's like whoa next okay good you know there's a lot a lot happening with money a lot happening with just going out having fun or just just feeling positive this month okay um the top rows message um i read this as give me a few seconds if you open up to new opportunities it will pay off twice folds the reason i said twice folds the birds can mean twos of something mm -hmm. okay so the bottom rose message i see this as a new beginning in the home or family brings more happiness so i don't see any problems overall with your general reading here again your love reading is a little bit different but i see you doing pretty well here so um yeah have a great month that's that was nice didn't have too much to say just you know like i said there might be a little bit of too much going on at the end of the month um, that might cause a little bit of stress, just, you know, but, and, or that possible, oh no, things are going so well. Is anything bad going to happen? Don't think that because we manifest what we think, right? Thoughts become things. I always say that. So don't let it get to you. Just kind of, but like I said, you, you really are going to kind of go with the flow this month and, but also take charge at the same time. It's like things happen at the right time for you. So Yay, happy for you. Have a great month and uh, thanks for listening. I will see you guys on my next video.